Hello, the Darkness three four four here. Today, I'm going to be showing you this uh, wrestling car computer that I've built in. Yeah, just a bit of my well spare time, <laughs> quarantine time. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a very, very, very fast computer. I really can't stress that enough. You will keep hearing me say this over and over again, just because I'm, I'm very proud of this. It's much faster than my first computer. Uh, this is. I'm going to be doing a tutorial series. Oh yeah, for those people who may have found this on MCPEDL. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to program this in this video, just in case you don't know how to. But yeah, I'm going to be doing, maybe, be doing a tutorial series on this, on how to build it, because, yeah, it's big, but it's quite a simple computer when you come down to it, because look, it's just a ROM display. Display, uh, program, program counter, RAM and ALU and your input output panel. That's pretty much all it is. The only hard thing about this is wiring it all up, like making sure every component works together. But guess what? Since it's a tutorial, I'll be doing it for you. So have fun while well, I struggle to replicate this again. Uh, one thing that I may do different in the tutorial is this RAM. I might flip around this way instead, but most likely not because I also built an extra RAM cell here, which, by mistake, so that is not going to be used. So yeah, yeah, for those MCPEDL people, because I will most likely be uploading this to MCPEDL. Yeah, I can't even say it now. Uh, yeah, how how it works, because you'll probably get confused. Uh, what you want to do when you first start out, this has the Fibonacci sequence preloaded, so you can write your own program if you know how to. If you don't, well. Uh, tough. I guess you could watch this video, but if you want to write a program for this, you're going to have to have a fairly good knowledge of binary and machine code and that sort of stuff. And you may be able to learn from some of my tutorials and stuff, so yeah, like and subscribe. Oh yeah. So, to, for this to work, what you're first going to do is make sure everything's reset by hitting all the reset buttons. So first of all, you're going to want to reset, make sure this is up, you hit reset program, uh, reset RAM, uh, clear ALU and then update display. Yeah, try and make it in that sort of order. Like it doesn't matter too too much as long as it's in that rough sort of order. And make sure this is the program's off while doing it, because that should reset the program. Then just to start it, you're gonna turn the program on and flip the lever up, and this will start the clock. Where well, it's actually adjustable clock from your display. You can mess with this, but it'll just make the program slower. This is the maximum speed the program can run. You can't run it any faster. I've tried, it doesn't work. So, and then you can just watch. Oh, and by the way, zero is always off, by the way. Like, I haven't implemented zero into the display. Well, I have, but I mean, I've turned it off. I'll show you that in a minute. So, the Fibonacci sequence goes zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, uh, thirteen. And then since this is only a 4-bit computer even, I keep saying calculator, uh, it will end at 13 because it can't do any more. Well, it won't end, it'll just stop working and you'll have some weird random numbers because the carry line will goes nowhere, so yeah. But it's a pretty nice, cal as you can see, 13, then it should go to some random number after that, uh, as you can see. But it's, it's a quite, and then you can turn it off and then reset it all again. You don't exactly need to clear the ALU, it's just better if you do just in case. So, so yeah, when you first log in, I would recommend clearing the ALU just in case, because sometimes it broke on one of my videos once for some really, really bizarre reason. But yeah, if you want to program this, all you have to do is come down to this line and then put redstone torches here, or like on the program lines. Uh, I will leave a video to, I have a diff I've released I recently released a video of one of my calculator computers and I'll leave a video to that I mean a link to that in the description where that shows how to program it even though it's a different computer it's pretty much the same machine code so you should be able to do that and if you really want to have an in-depth uh, tutorial then when I'm finished with the building this tutorial the last video I will do will be clearing things up and also showing you how to program it with like the Fibonacci sequence or some other programs. And yeah, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, so for the viewers, for like my subscribers and my viewers, yeah, we're going to be building this computer. Uh, 
some basic specs. It has one, two, three. Well, not a big clock. You can adjust it and stuff. Clock speed doesn't matter too much. It's better if it's faster, but that doesn't really mean a whole lot in computing. Uh, yeah, this is the max. You can clock it here. So base clock is here, and you can even overclock it here if you really want. But this program will not work any faster. Then you have an ALU with add and subtract. Here's add, here's subtract. They're just simple adders. I've probably would have gone over this in one of my previous videos. They're just simple adders which use XOR gates and AND gates to add numbers with carry. I'll also the fifth bit is not used. It's just it's not even safe to RAM or anything. It's just here and it, you can do what you want with that. Then it goes through here all the way down. You have uh, two bytes of RAM. Oh yes, very impressive. Just a tad more storage than my actual computer, you know. Two bytes, two whole bytes. No, basically, uh, yeah, two bytes of RAM. Ignore that. I won't be building that in the tutorial. That was by mistake, and I'm not going to be bothered to fix it in this one because haha. <laughs> so you have two bytes of RAM. Uh, the well, technically, you have four RAM, four RAM address. So you have four RAM slots, so you can address to four different RAM s slots, I guess, yeah. And each one of these RAM slots, I'm just going to call them slots now, uh, has a nibble of storage, which is for four bits, if you really want to get technical. Then you have your main data line, which goes back right in to your program uh, counter and your program line. So this is a very big program line. It has 16 lines of code, uh, all fully addressable lines of code where you can even say oh hang on I want to loop back to line one you can do that if you want you can loop it you can repeat the program you can say oh I want to instead of going one two three four I want it to go one two three seven instead like you can address it to any way possible then you have the display this is just a simple ROM display which only the one is linked up on this side I haven't linked up to zero because I couldn't be bothered and zero is on here as you can see you can turn zero on or off which is quite useful because if you update this let's just reset the program and clear actually no we need to update display uh, as you can see it's blank so technically oh look it's off but no since blank is zero you can turn zero on if you really want zero to be displayed I'll include this in the tutorial and it's just a simple 15, no 16 different things because you have to include 0 as well. You don't need to include it but it's nice to have it. Then you have your relays, registers even, you have register here and you have your RAM register, I mean your ALU registers and they work pretty simple. Whatever number you put in it just updates it whenever you say I want to load a number to this ALU. And so, yeah, it's a very simple computer, very fast computer, as you saw that that Fibonacci sequence was fairly fast on this. And guess what? It's on Bedrock Edition. Fun. So Java players, you're going to have to make some modifications to it. Modifications are these pistons, because these pistons are kind of like controlling the data. You could probably re replace them with redstone torches if you're clever enough. But for the Bedrock players, I'm just going to be showing with the pistons, because... Yeah, I like Bedrock Edition more than Java. Really don't ask me why, but one of the features of Bedrock Edition, Java players, can you just hold down your mouse and do that? Haha, <laughs> no you can't. Much easier to place redstone. Yeah, I know it's limited with pistons and such, but oh well, it's pretty cool. So yeah, this tutorial will basically cover this program, count this count computer even. I'll show you how to make this computer. It'll be cool. And I'll also show you how to program it, so you're like you're not just left with, oh, I built a computer. Now what do I do? Hmm, uh, not a whole lot, because <laughs> you because you don't know how to program it. But yeah, I will show you how to program it because it uses my own take on machine code, so which is pretty cool. So yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for watching this short introduction, and hopefully we can start on the tutorial. First episode, because I'm just going to name this episode zero because. Yay, weird numbers. First episode we're doing, I will be covering this ALU, how to build it, and also the registers. Then after that I'll be covering that, but yeah, enough said. Please like and subscribe, and yeah, I'm out.